Okay, um, so this is uh, probability and counting rules. Uh, some just a couple of examples, and I'm going to show you kind of the way I think about these problems, and then the way you're supposed to probably think about them. <laughs> um, there's two ways to look at this. So, so let's look at the my way first, because it's the one that makes sense in my mind. So, find the probability of getting four aces when five cards are drawn from an ordinary deck of cards. So, um, first off, we need to know um, what a deck of cards looks like in case you've never seen one. And so, let me pull in a deck of cards. There is a deck of cards, a standard deck of 52 cards. Um, so this gives you everything. There's clubs, there's this top row here. Um, spades, hearts, and diamonds. Here are your face cards over here. Jack, queen, and king of each suits. Okay. Um, find the problem. And then here are your ace. Whoa. Here's your aces right here on this row. Yeah, well, so there's four of them. Okay. Out of the way. So how I look at this problem is I think of it in terms of bins. So we've got cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, let's say the first card, that'd be this one, is an ace. So the chances of getting that are four out of 50 cards. Now, they've put that card in your hand so now you're drawn from the deck that only has three aces and 51 cards, and you go down the line that way. Whoops, times one out of 49. Okay, and then we get to the last card. So that's, so these first four for me, this would be the chance of my first four cards being an ace. So four out of 52 times three out of 51 times two out of 50 times one out of 49. Then that last card, there are 48 left in the deck, and I can choose any of the 48. So in this case, we're really just multiplying by 1, because 48 out of 48 is 1. Okay. But you also have to look about, this is where the order, I've put this in a position where the order is very important. So 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 48 out of 48 you know you could have easily chosen the first card you know you could have chosen it as 48 uh, maybe your first card was uh, was not the ace and then your next card excuse me that'd be times so three out of fifty or four out of the next card would be there's still four aces left in the deck excuse me so times four out of fifty one cards because we choose it one non ace then 3 out of 50, then 2 out of uh, um, 49, and then 1 out of 48. And so that's if you chose the last four cards as, a, as your aces. And if you notice then, that, that card could fit anywhere. So then maybe your first card was an ace, and your second card was not the ace. And so we've got something that looks like this on down the line. So it would look, so your sample space would really be ace, 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 not ace, or not ace, 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 or ace, not ace, 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 on down the line. And there would be, you know, there's one, two, three, four, five places to place that in. So basically, and they're all going to be the same on the top and on the bottom, just the order is different. And so community property, it doesn't matter what order you multiply in. So we know we're going to have five um, ways of choosing, um, I'll use my first one, four out of 52 times three out of 51 times 2 out of 50, times 1 out of 49, times 48 out of 48. Not that you need that, because that's just 1. 
and then you just reduce that. So um, 4 out of 52 is 1 out of 13, and then times 5. Uh, 3 out of 15 is 1 out of 17, 1 out of 25, 1 out of 49, and we don't need the 48 divided by 48 because it's 1. And then 5 and 25 reduces to 5 and 1. And now you've got your probability. So it would be 1 all the way across is 1, divided by 13 times 17 times 5 times 49 is, I thought I had it written down, oh, 54,100. And for I did have it written down, 145. So 54, 145. Okay, so that's the probability of four aces out of five cards. Not a very good chance of getting four aces and five cards. So how do we look at this in terms of just the general definition of probability? Well, probability is defined as probability of your event, we'll call it X, is defined as your successes, successes, divided by failures. So if you can just count each of those, um, you've got it whooped. So, or not successes over failures, that's odd, sorry. Successes over total. Um, so if you can just count those, you got this thing taken care of. So total this is a combination because the order doesn't matter. That ace can be in any position, in, those cards can be in any position you want them. And so total, there we have 52 cards, and we're going to choose five of them. Okay, so that's your total. Successes, you could have, we're going to, we have to have four aces. So we're going to have four cards because there's four aces, and we're going to choose four of them, which is just one. And then take that times how many cards are left. There's 48 cards. So you would have 48 over, now this I did not write down, 2, 5, 9, 8, 9, 6, 0. Oh. So 2, 5, 9, 8, 9, 6, 0. Oh. And if you reduce that, that's 1 in 54,145. So it comes out the same. And so that's probably the more accurate way to look at it, but they both work. Uh, all right. So next problem. Hope that one helped. So a box contains 24 circuit boards, four of which are defective. If four are sold at random, find the following probabilities. And the first one is that exactly two are defective. So we could have, going by my original logic there, we could have defective, defective, good, good. We could have defective, good, defective, good. We could have uh, defective, good, good, defective. And let me write them all down. Good, defective, defective, good. Good, defective, good, defective, and good, good, defective, defective. So there's those are all the possible ways that this outcome could happen. And there are so there's six of them. And how you could again, you've got four bins: one, two, three, four. So defective. There's if the first one was defective, and there's 24, then there would be three out of 23 and then 2 out of 22, and then, uh, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, those would be if they're all defective. But we only picked two of them that are defective. So there's my two defective ones. Now my two good ones, there's 20 good ones, so 20 out of 22, and uh, 19 out of 21. All right. And so that's the probability, all, four, all six of these probabilities will be the same. And so we would take this times six, because there's six of those orders, and reduce it. And so you'd have six times one-sixth times uh, three twenty-thirds times uh, ten-elevenths times nineteen twenty-firsts 
Um, these sixes cancel. 21 and 3 is 1 and 7. And you do all your multiplication and you get 190 over 1,771. So that's the probability that exactly two are defective. Looking at it as successes over total, um, we're going to choose out of four defective ones, we're going to choose two of them. And out of the good band, we're going to take that times um, 20 good ones. Um, yeah, we're going to choose, for this one, we're going to choose two bad ones out of the four that are there. And then for the good ones, we're going to choose out of 20, we're going to also choose two for two more. Multiply that over total possibilities. We're going to, out of the box, there's 24 in the box, and we're going to choose four of them. And you do the math, get your calculator out, and you will get the same thing. Now, after you reduce, make sure you reduce your fractions all the way. Because I'm running out of time. So that's how you look at that. Now, I was looking at this one already. If all are defective, if all four are defective, we would have 4 out of 24 times 3 out of 23 times 2 out of 22 times 1 out of 21. That's all four being defective. No good ones at all. Um, then you reduce that. That'd be 1 11th. Um, that'd be 7 and 1, 1 and 6. And so now we can go ahead and multiply that out. So if the chances of them all being defective, uh, 6 times 23 times 11 times 7. And hopefully this is right, looks right. 10,626. Yeah, that looks right. Um, which, which also, yeah. So that's your, that's your chances of them, that's the, your odds of them all being, not odds, that's the probability of them all being defective. I don't know where odds is coming in my head all of a sudden. Don't get those confused. They're not the same. So 1 out of 10,626. So now, um, none are defective. Well, that would just be the opposite. Um, there's 20 good ones out of 24 total. Then there would be 19 out of 23. Then 18 out of uh, 22. Then uh, uh, 17 out of 21. Okay, and so... You know, you simplify this. I'm going to kind of rush through this a little bit. And that would be if, you, you know, I'm reducing, I've reduced it off to the side, double check my numbers. I think I'm right, but I, I'm running out of time here. So if you multiply all that, reduce it, you'd have 1,615 good ones, uh, or a chance, excuse me, your probability of getting all four good ones is here which is really, you know, only about 46%. So you probably got a problem here. You're going to pick out of the box, pick four out of the box and your chance of all of them being great or good is 46%. That's pretty sad. Probably won't be in business very long. But anyway, and then the last problem is at least one is defective. Well, up here, this is the probability that none are defective. So the opposite of that would be that um, there would be at least one being effective. So if you ever see that at least one, you can take it, you can take it time, uh, one minus that. So if you take one minus one out of 10,626, uh, we got a pretty good shot of one of these being defective. And so we've got a 10,625 out of 10,626 percent chance of at least being one defective, which is almost 100 percent. Um, 0.99, yeah, 0.999. So we've got about a 100 percent chance of them being defective. Um, there's lots of nines, so you can take a look and check it out. I think there's at least four. So there we go. Definitely want to look at those uh, that box of circuits and make sure there's not, nothing wrong else on. Hope this helps. I'm running out of time. See you next time. Sorry I talked so long.